Yes. Now, so part we've two got of that theme. interview will be next week. Yes. For you, now the viewer we've got, at home. We've got a theme going on for this week's show, haven't we? For well, the, the web two, series, the web series we're reviewing. reviewing. And they are vampires. And the first one is Vampire Mob. So, should we go with a clip from that? Indeed. This is the trailer for Vampire Mob. Yeah. Of the week. It's hard enough with the two of us like this. One day he starts blocking windows and he won't say why. No, I didn't even want Annie like this. Then I got hungry and... Well, you know what? Not anymore. I got my own supplies. Our own supplies. We don't bite people because we're not fucking animals. You know, what's for Virginia now? No, not my mother. My mother-in-law. You what? No, you bitter? You bitter? Fucking believable. Where is she staying out of the light? Move in with us. Your Aunt Annie really fucked up. So if I'm going to live forever, I want my mother to live forever, so I can complain about Don. But you never asked me how I was going to feel drinking blood. Would you like to sponsor me in a walkathon? Just my sister and anybody else's blood you're drinking. So, so we are on the same page about the no biting thing, right? Vampire mob there. Mm -hmm. About a hit man who happens to be a vampire and discovers his vampire of a mother-in-law yes. is moving in. Of course, being vampires, they live forever. So You've got to deal know. with the mother-in-law forever. <laughs> and Can I tell you, it's about damn time that somebody put Goombas from New Jersey uh, together with some you know, vampires from, from True Blood and really made... This is, this is a classic smash-up, and I think it's a fantastic show. Well, I like the fact that uh, the mother-in-law is played by Marsha Wallace. Indeed. Who is, of course, Mrs. Crabapple. Mrs. Crabapple. On The Simpsons. Also I finally got to see what she looks Mulkey like. from Twin Peaks, you know, um, Uncle Hank was a, a, a critical figure in, in I Know My Own Life. I loved Twin Peaks. The, the, this show's actually got a really very strong Spectacular cast. Spectacular cast. an internet show. Uh, um, it's, it's quite a common theme within uh, vampire shows, like Angel or Forever Night or something. Of Angel specifically. Uh, uh, yeah, well, but a vampire getting a job in the real world that kind of like suits his vampiric talents. Indeed, and of course, you know, as a hitman, he's. I'm he's actually surprised it hasn't been done before. A vampire is a hitman. Yeah, he's spending all his nights out, and of course, that's the perfect time for a vampire. Yes. Um, I just, I just love the fact that every night after doing the hit, he sort of comes back with huge jugs of blood. <laughs> And that sort of seems to be the critical aspect of the show, is that, it, you know, it's sort of, it's going to spend its time in the vampire thing, but it's actually going to probably, I feel like its strength is totally in the family comedy, you know, you've, yeah. got, a, you've got a real opportunity for arrested development inside of The Sopranos with vampires, and I think just, you know, it's all about, God, what if the Hogans were vampires? What if, you know, all of those terrible shows, and this show I think has really got what it's, you know, a great, great swing to become being one of those. Jonathan, whatever I might want to say about the show, I couldn't have said it better than you. Yeah, obviously, because, you know, they were like, well, I, what I would really... Okay. Let's talk, right? Because really... <clears throat> moving on. Should we give it cheers? Well, I definitely give it cheers. Yes, there are six episodes online at mm -hmm. Mob. Are they going to be more episodes? And they've been filming the second season, right. and so there will be more soon. But you can catch up on all, the whole first season, six episodes, VampireMob.com. Okay. I give it a cheers. I cheers. I enjoyed it a lot. Actually, we've got a picture of uh, Jonathan as a vampire. We do indeed. There we go. We're jo ah, look, mm -hmm. look at that. And is that Sarah Michelle Gellar just in the corner? You're going to about to yep, chop that's her down. ear. That's Sarah uh, Michelle Gellar's and ear. And how, how, how long were you in makeup for that? Oh, God, that was a full night. That was a full night in... Uh... You know, complete prosthetics. I wear contacts naturally, and they can't piggyback on top of the other ones, so they take those out and put these real sort of field of vision reducing yellow ones on, and yeah. couldn't really see a thing through most of the mm. most of the shooting, which ended up in a double fistful of Michelle Geller boobs <laughs> uh, at one point when I was supposed to be going for her lapels, but I really misjudged time and distance and. Well, at least at least you had an excuse there. So, so our um, second web series is um, Suck and Moan. Probably the best titled web series. Let's talk about how well titled Suck and Moan is. <laughs> yeah, well, let's let's have a clip from Suck and Moan. Pandemic. This is such a major inconvenience. In for the neck. 
What could a virus that resurrects the dead do to the undead? And why is that any of our concern? I couldn't help but notice that as the zombie population rises, our viable food sources are being depleted. The elderly don't travel well, so I had to let most of them go to waste. A bunch of zombies just knocked over my car? Aren't zombies and mummies just the same thing? I'd kind of like to know what this virus does to vampires before we just... Suck and moan there. Well, just... I actually felt that this stands up. We, we, there's a couple of, which we've seen over the past few weeks, like mm. Aiden 5 and Transylvania TV yeah. and Cupid and Eros, but this stands out as one of the best shows Good. along with those. Yeah. I, for, for me, anyway, yeah. I absolutely thought this was hysterical. And totally. What happens when you remove, you know, the... the, 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 the the, the time-tested moral imperative of, the, you know, the conflict of humanity. And, mm. and, and I think, actually, the show really succeeds as a result of that. And I'd really also like to say that I was incredibly impressed with the show's uh, cinematography, lighting mm -hmm. design, yeah. and direction. I think they really well, had a well, really firm command. Well, 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 I, well, I think for all geeks throughout the world, they're going to have a new question. What happens when a vampire sucks from a zombie? What's well, a zombie do vampire? They, do, do they or is it a vampire, vampire zombie? Does, well, this is what they're still... I mean... To tell you what it's about, there, yeah. there is a zombie, zombie epidemic. Apoly so zombie got, apocalypse. Indeed, and, we've, and we follow the, the adventures of a tight group of vampires. It, they kind of meet them almost like a sort of vampire very, AA meeting, don't they? Yes, and they're very kind of like mundane. They're very kind of like very average. And what I also like is a lot of their dialogue is very much spoofing uh, vampire culture, where they're like indeed, saying, a a sort of apparently we can walk around in sun now. In a Quentin Tarantino kind of way. Yes. I love that. Or, 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 or they, toothbrush. And, and they spend about ten minutes trying to work out whether they can walk into a house uninvited or not, rather than know whether this law, actually, this, this real vampire or not, mythology yeah, is actually... Yeah. And it's very, very funny. Um, if I had a downside, the makeup effects on the zombies aren't great. But the writing's so good, it you know, and the cast are so good in it, and they gel so well. That, I, I that thought, that's just such. That's the only downside I could find to it. I thought some of them were sort of kind of getting used to the the, 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 the teeth the, is the a teeth. perennial problem. Yeah. I saw that in in, in the mob show, uh, Vampire Mob as well. You know, it, the thing about the teeth is that it'll slow you down every time. Well, they, have, they have a lot of act, a lot of dialogue in, in these. They have a lot of dialogue, and you find actors constantly like. <laughs> And then, you know, with the thing and the stuff, it, you know, it's, it's uncomfortable. And, and I think every show, you know, everybody's got to make a decision on how they're going to, yeah. you know, sort of work with the teeth, basically. Yeah. Because, you know, they don't fit in your mouth. Indeed. And it's hard to talk with your mouth full. So, yes, the story is they, they, they decide they have to kill the, the zombies before the zombies kill all the humans. Otherwise, they won't have, they any, won't have any food, food stuff. Well, there's but one particular vampire is fed, does, as fed yes. on a zombie. So the actual... Basically, the big question going throughout is what will, actually happen, what will to happen to him? Will the fact that he's undead cancel out making him dead? Or will he become a zombie vampire? Or will he turn into ash or what? And so we saw uh, eight episodes and there is a ninth one coming soon. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, we'll, uh, we'll have to hang would, on and wait and see. We'll I would definitely out recommend that yeah, no, definitely. to anybody. It's a really good show. So Seven, cheers, cheers, then. cheers from me. Uh, it's uh, bad luck oh, somebody... Um, no, just one of you. Thank you. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Mm. Have you uh, watched any other vampire web series? I have, as a matter of fact. As part of my research, uh, coming up for the show, I, I came across um, a really, really well-made little piece called um, uh, Blood Light. Was it Blood Light? Blood Light, yes. Blood Light. Yeah, Blood Light. It's a, it's a fantastic... Um, Great little um, uh, sort of God, you know, it's a um, it's a three camera comedy short. Vampires in a curb your enthusiasm sort of or um, how I met your mother kind of way. Um, it's got a lot of fun characters, got a lot of uh, sort of great writing. Uh, the writing I'm particularly happy with. It, you know, it, it starts off in this sort of snarky vampire comedy show kind of way, and and, and evolves from there. And they really make a make a supreme effort. 
towards situational comedy in, in, in a really sophisticated way. So I'd like to cool. give a shout out to Bloodlight. Well, and, we'll have to review that. Yes. Yeah, definitely in future and, and while I was on the internet, I actually discovered something more terrifying than vampires. Probably the most terrifying thing I'd ever encountered in my life. Rebecca Black. <laughs> well, because we talked about this last week. And you I, seen I, oh, I, I saw it last week and I was like, I shall feel kind of sorry for her because it's just, it's just, it could happen to any poor young girl being stuck in the worst video ever made. Oh, and right, I read about this. Yes, and, and within a month she's got 85 million hits. Well, well when, you we, know what? When, we, when we talked about it last week, I think it only reached 60 million, so that's 20 million in a week. Yeah. That's amazing, really. And apparently Justin Bieber's going to do a, a duet with her <laughs> because he's very upset about all the cyberbullying. I'm amazed they just didn't... So they're all upset about the comments people are putting on her YouTube page, but you can actually turn the comments off. That's what well, I'm Well, that's not. the thing, indeed, of course. Well... Um, what else on the internet this week, was, of course, was um, uh, Bald Eagle, Eagle Cam. Eagle yes. And, got a um, and we've had two hatchlings from the Bald Eagle... Let's, let's have a and, look at um, that. Yes. I'm sorry, this is a real bald eagle. This is some sort of like. Someone has. Bald eagle isn't kind someone, of like some name for a someone has uncircumcised. Put a, <laughs> sort of um, about 80 cameras around the nest of a bald eagle. 80? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and um, they're now following it live on Ustream. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. And they've had two hatchlings, and there's a third expected any day now. You know what that reminds me? Another thing that I didn't submit but I really wanted to was the hiccuping panda kid. Remember, yes, yes, that's a that very thing. famous, the Hiccuping Cat Band. Hiccuping Brilliant, Panda. absolutely. Yeah. I think I actually watched that four times, so <coughs> laugh every time it's sort of embarrassing. And that's been spoofed quite a lot as well. Is it? So, um, Q&A, we are in the Q&A, so if you've got some questions. I know there was one question here. for you earlier, which I noticed was, do you prefer playing a good guy or a bad guy? Yes, uh, do I prefer playing a good guy or a bad guy? Comes That's a question that comes up for me rather a lot, really, and, I, and uh, my answer is you know, pretty much always the same. It's... Um, would you rather be Han Solo or Luke Skywalker? I'm a Han Solo guy straight down the line. Uh, was Han Solo the bad guy? He was a good guy, wasn't he? No, no he's, he's a, a bad boy. No, he's, he's a bad boy. boy. He's he's not the the bad between guy. a bad guy. Right. Would, Would you, you want to be Darth Vader okay, or Luke Skywalker? I suppose the question yeah. is whether you'd like to be a villain or the good guy. The villain I, or the you villain. know what? I find, I find I like villains. I find I like villains. I find... More often than not, the good guy is, you know, reduced to doing, um, you know, jaw muscle acting. Do you know jaw muscle acting? Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a trope, you know, that um, all of us must be familiar with from time to time. The, the, you know, the good guy is... I'm sure Nathan could teach you Exactly. Of Nathan Fillion, star of many, many, many shows where he's the good guy. You know, the, 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 the good guy is routinely reduced to some sort of jaw muscle acting, which shows both... His inner strength as a moral moral being, but also his conflict, and it comes out in 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 just the twitching of this muscle right here, which I'm not very good at because you know I'm a fat fat man. But <laughs> if you can do it, if you can do it, it'll show it'll show your your viewing public just how upset you are. And I was almost you know much happier when they gave me a gun or you know some sort of like cool like scalpel thing. So I always fall on the side of the the bad bad man. So, do you have any particular favorite roles then? Yeah, they gave me a gun in Firefly, and that was pretty hip. I did like that. Beyond that, I was um, touring with a dance troupe in, 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 in France and Italy when I was just out of college, playing a character called Ear in a Dada performance of The Gas Heart by Tristan Zara, who was a Dada master writer. It was a half hour piece, and we were performing in a. In a uh, used and and deserted roller skating rink on the top of a mountain outside Ancona, Italy, uh, doing midnight shows in 105 degree Fahrenheit weather with the sweat flying off. You know, you really get that sort of like postmodern theater Ozzy Osbourne moment. Cool. We've actually got some comments. Really about cool. It. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's quite cool. We've got some comments about the shore acting. And the uh, part of jaw acting is to know what your jaw's secret is. I think the best jaw acting I ever saw done was by Sylvester Stallone in Judge Dredd. Yes. When he's an actor is guilty well, he, he and you is, just see a jaw just, muscle just go, just, just, that's it. Just, you know, I was just thinking of that, that, that recent movie, the, the most terrible one, The Desperados, The um, ex, Extremables. Oh, the, the, oh, yes. The Expendables. The Expendables. Thank you, The Expendables. You know, I have never seen such a remarkable collection of jaw actors in any one given place. It was yeah. like the UN of jaw yeah. acting. You must have, must have had to check out special insurance on the jaws. Mm. Chris McCart... Mm, can't even talk about it. Um, Ken totally under... What do we have? Do we have any questions? Do we have any questions about the shows, about the internet? 
about what's what's going what shows are going on at the internet at the moment. Mm, a lot of people are ready for four video guys. Um, a lot of people say we would do four video the guys. Guy all unfortunately, the way we can't the find left. a webcam. <laughs> Why did him fit us yeah. all in? We're already like obviously a lot of a lot Eleazar's of your viewers feel are like already an American way too close to is really you know. It's been a long well, time is, coming, this, and thank this, God for it. Um, I mean, this is this is obviously the first for us is to have uh, an American presenter on our show. It is. Here we, we go. Here we have an American producer. And when are we going to have Charlie oh, right. Sheen come on and review? Charlie the Sheen, I think you know, maybe next. You know what? Next week, because I'm, I'm, I'm happy <laughs> to say that um, the guy in the bow tie is still at WrestleMania and will be until next week. Because I guess The Rock. Has shown up in so the, the Rock is the Rock, is the rock in has actually has returned. Atlanta. We've given him a video camera, and I want to just say, stand outside his dressing room all week just to try and get. Some I would just like to say rock. is that um, uh, Dwayne Johnson may be dead, but I was a Dwayne Johnson fan. Dwayne, that's his name, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah. just making sure. Did some really great work. I would also, you know, like to point specifically to Return to Witch Mountain and. Um, Classic Walking movie. Tall. Did you see Walking Tall? I saw Walking Tall. That's did you see the Tooth Fairy one? Yeah, it was a. Okay. Well, or was the a... one he did with Sarah Michelle Geller, the the <laughs> strange oh, one. Oh God, yes, uh, um, Southland Tales. Yeah, I thought that was actually particularly. And he is next going to be seen in Fast and Furious yes, Five. five. Yeah. Woo! Number five. But five. I, Isn't that like a real? Yeah, come four down were good five. enough. Uh, we did have. I, a, I've been gi- I've been given tickets for the premiere, but it's on my birthday, and I just don't want to spend. You my can tickets. just force those right over to me, <laughs> you lover boy. Um, question for Jonathan: What is his favorite genre to act in? Ooh, I guess my favorite genre would be um, whatever things pays. that are on film, um, or not even film. You know, digital technology. I just like working. You know, we're gonna we're gonna get I think, Jonathan into a YouTube show soon. Uh, mm-hmm. Mark Gardner's recommended we have a look at Solo, the book, the series. Hmm. So the Solo, Vampire Mob, Taco and Nash. Taco and Nash. I don't know about this one. We need some more information on Taco. And... But uh, Solo. We here's can... a question from Vampire Mob, and I think this is actually appropriate to our uh-huh. show this week. Are you surprised that vampire genre is so strong, still so strong, this long after Buffy? Sean, why don't you uh, feel that? Well, it's been it's been strong for like it's never a gone century. Away, has it? I mean, the it point. is literally ever since Dracula was published. I just think it's. We remember what you said about the bad boy. Mm. The vampire is that character that every guy. He's kind of like the guy every guy wants to be. And right. I think it's actually about every girl with, that. You yeah, know, well, it's a combination. This is the of ultimate the conflicted guy. You know, but whether it's Count Dracula himself, played by when he's played by Christopher Lee, or somebody like Spike, or or Max like Edward Nine Cullen, now. or whatever. There's always the vampire is that cool and sexy. The James Dean of the supernatural, so but, that's uh, why I think we that's where it's popular. We don't really is. have, I don't think, vampires anymore that, that are supposed to, you know, the original kind of vampires. It's yeah, they're not completely they're, amoral. They're, no, they're kind of like monsters. The, they're kind of like this thing where they have to suck blood to live, but they're still actually left with their conscience mm. now. So, which is a sort of, you know, I mean, isn't it on Twilight? Aren't they? Defanging. Aren't they <laughs> vegetarian <laughs> vampires or something like that on Twilight? Count really. Count Juicing Duc- oh, no, vampires? Count, Count Ducula, that's got to be the like. Juicing great. vampires! Oh my gosh! It's I love it. I'm going to write to the guys over at Suck and Moan about juicing. Well, it's a I, possibility. I, I, my my favourite vampire was always Count Ducula, definitely. Count Ducula was great. Was a great and he drank series. carrot juice. He drank carrot juice. So I guess we can say is that, uh, you know, Buffy went on the air, I guess, what, 12 years ago? Yeah. About 12 years ago. And uh, you could say that. That even wasn't the beginning of it because Anne Rice, you know, sort of invented the resurgence. That. You know, I'm just saying no, 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 for no, resurgence purposes. Just so you can even go back. Look how big vampires were when Christopher Lee was playing them, or you know, Gary Oldman, or whatever. And well, there, got, was, there was got the, the Blade ca- movies. The you've got vampires. the Underworld oh, movies. Blade, Blade. And Blade. you know, vamp, vamp, and there seems to be a rule in with comic book superheroes: every superhero has to fight Count Dracula at some point. At indeed. some point. Really, because, you know, just like Fonzie had to jump the shark. It was now Nuke the Fridge. Is nuke the, the Fridge? Yeah, oh, it comes right. from the Indiana Jones film. Absolutely, Nuke the Fridge. Yes. What an embarrassing moment for us all. Well, um, uh, wow, um, that's been quite a marathon <laughs> session. Of oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry, there's something. a lot going on. Oh, really? Whoa, whoa, okay, whoa, whoa. Down in the message They're boards. not letting us go away. Jeez. Count Cracula, um, we've had. Count Cracula. What the hell is Count Any Cracula? idea where the motion picture drones starting? Oh, the legendary Jonathan Woodward. Wow. Thanks. Um, NY2307. NY2307. Let's you and I. 
Just just agree to love you know each other a little bit. Coming out on DVD. I was told that the DVD would be available domestically in the States as of March. So oh, it could have been April, Matt. Do you mean March? To, to, which, March which year? In 2011. Right. That would be. I believe That'd it was be available month. free on Comcast and pay-per-view for January and February of those years and should be available on Amazon even as we speak. Fantastic movie. And Tightrope is... I think it was Tightrope who was saying... Speaking of, there was a question my favorite character was definitely Drones. Nobody's seen it yet, sadly, because but it was definitely the greatest of it all. It was much better than that play I saw you in. Yes, I've also just recently finished the worst play in London. I'm so proud to see... And and you know what? In in fact, I had... You know, I got married back on uh, on New Year's Eve just this year, and I had... Congratulations. Thank you very much. I had had brand new... uh, in-laws drive all the way down from Newcastle, spend f- eight hours on the road just to come down and see this play about uh, an American politician who, you know, was in a car crash and cryogenically frozen and woken up 160 years into the future where everybody's gay. Oh, wow. So it was awesome. Sounds interesting. That's, that's the good news there. So you could relate to the, the mother-in-law um, character in, in Vampire Mob. In, in what way? In Vampire Mob, well, you know, he's, he's, he's having his, his mother-in-law sort of hanging around and getting into his business. And that really... I, I, I think Jonathan gets on. He was more worried about her having to spend eight hours to come and see... <laughs> oh, no! Okay, yes! Ever. No, I, I, I got that. I worked that out. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, well, folks, I think <laughs> we will be, be back rant. next year. Next week it's going to be, I believe, those two video guys. Maybe. Will you come back next week? John? Well, I was harder hoping. Yeah, I did invite him back. Can I, can I get a Can I get Let a little poll knows. online here? Can I get a? Do you want Do you want Jonathan back next week? Do you want Jonathan back to sort should, of practice? Elazar can't make it next, next week. week. Should we get Neil Robinson? You won't be here next week. I won't be here next week. No, Elazar. That's terrible. I'm being sent. I'm being sent to New York. For what? For work. Which I mean, this is not your work. This is this is my second job. Oh, that's <laughs> exciting. Well, um, please give my regards to Broadway, I as will, they say. Yes. And um, I'm sure, I'm sure, with you know, with a with a, the approval of the, the powers that be, we could find you know some of the delinquent to <laughs> show up and embarrass himself. And well, we'll find you some really interesting on perhaps, the webs. Um, I don't know, perhaps do you have any, any thoughts on what kind of web series or videos you'd like to review? We can pick out some, maybe some science fiction or... I'd really like that, actually. Yeah. I think that's something I'd like to give a lot of thought of, and I'd like to hear a lot of... I'd like to hear a lot of uh, opinions from our, from our people online. What kind of show do you think, um, Sean, myself, and possibly a, a third, you know, not altogether appropriate and maybe even drunk individual would um, perhaps be in any way Indeed, you can send your, to review. send your suggestions to those video guys at gmail.com. Please do. Um, so I think that's, we're going to have to call it time. Indeed. At Thank you point. very much for joining us for uh, a fantastic episode. Thank you, Jonathan, Thank you for, for having me. Yeah. I do appreciate it. I'm very, very pleased mm-hmm. to be a part of the... And, and, the and, 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 and a special thank you to the awesome Rebecca Black. And also, <laughs> just of course, being, for just being our in-house just Rebecca Rebecca Black. producer who's done some fantastic oh, work, you know, and, and of course, And of course, remember, you can follow us all on Twitter. Indeed. You need yes. to start getting your Twitter. You can actually see start using you can, your Twitter. I could use my Twitter. I did some back in December. That was yes. exciting. I'm, I'm always tweeting messages to uh, Kristen Stewart fans. Indeed. Also, yes. I'd like to, you know, once again, thank all of our um, reviewees for the evening. The, yes. the gang yes. over at Vampire Mob, our friends at Suck and Moan, and of course, Big thank my you friend, to Suck and Moan, one of the best Hall. YouTube shows I've seen. Suck and Excellent Moan. Show. And the kissing, of course. I think um, yes. I'd like to talk to the guy who's in charge of that theme song. Okay, so we will see you guys um, at some time around, depending oh, on the technical issues. Totally that's great. We've been those video guys. And Take care. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye. Cheers.